Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iPhone 12 overheating issue. Yeah, this is a pretty infamous issue of iPhone 12. A lot of you guys have been talking to me over on my Twitter at the rate archived and I myself own an iPhone 12 and use it sometimes to review it for you guys. I have also noticed that iPhone 12 does get abnormally warm while doing pretty basic tasks as well like playing casual games or sometimes posting reels on and editing reels on instagram these small little tasks sometimes makes iphone 12 overheated and i'm not talking about normal heating overheated to a point that it is lagging and it is really really warm a lot of you guys have been having overheating issue on your iphone 12 and i am having it on mine as well but i did some tricks and now i am having that issue way less than earlier i'm going to share those tricks and tips to you guys in this video so without wasting any more time let's get right into this video my name is jay aka tech hype please hit that subscribe button because it really helps me and it is my goal to reach 20,000 subscribers before the end of the year so make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification i am going to come up with a lot of wwdc and ios 18 on iphone 12 content really really soon and i don't want you guys to miss it hit that subscribe button now that you've done that let's dive right in today's video so i just changed the way i use my phone a little bit yeah it will take some time for you to get used to but trust me once you will just change some ways of how you use your phone it will automatically impact it and the overheating issue that you are having will be reduced to a big level the number one thing that you should do is keep low power mode on when it drops when the battery life drops 70 or below 70 it does help also you should turn off low power mode make sure to turn off low power mode when it's getting really really warm because what low power mode does is it will limit the core and performance of your iphone so if your device is getting overheated and it is getting laggy then turning off low power mode will make your iphone a bit faster why i'm saying that you should turn on your low power mode at 70 percent or below 70 percent that is because if it will earlier only reduce the performance of the phone suppose your performance of the phone will be limited to 70 percent or 60 percent and it is cold then there are very less chances for your phone to get warm later during the day and still if your phone did got warm you should turn off low power mode because then you will get some extra performance and the next thing you should do is try keeping the wi-fi on and turn off cellular data basically don't use cellular data all the time and if you are using 5g avoid using 5g all the time it will drain your battery a lot and it will at the same time will make your device really really hot and still if you want to use your cellular data all the time you should do some things like turning off mobile data not being on mobile data at all the time basically for times like if you are somewhere outside you are driving or something like that and you don't need your mobile data all the time you have downloaded the maps or anything basically in situations where you can avoid using your cellular data just turn it off at all because yeah it is a big trade-off but trust me if your phone is getting really really overheated this will make a huge impact like a huge impact then next thing is i have also seen a lot of people attaching their iphones over on the windshield of their car now the sun will directly hit your iphone and it will get warm really really quickly and for a fact even if you want to do that and you can't avoid doing that what you can do is just not charge your phone at the same time because charging your phone and when the sunlight is hitting directly onto your phone that will number one damage the battery of your iphone and your battery health will be degraded really really quickly and moreover than that it will make your device really really laggy and overheated so that's pretty much it for today's quick little episode i hope these tips and tricks and advices must have helped you in inventing your device getting overheated do let me know down in comments below thank you so much for watching my video till the end i will catch you guys in the very next episode peace out and have a great day everyone